the voice of God, baptism of the Lord, year C. In all of today's readings, the term voice is explicitly stated or at least implied. Psalm 129 explicitly refers to a voice with the voice of the Lord over the waters. With these words, Brant Petrie explains, the psalmist brings us back to the dawn of time when, as described in the first chapter of Genesis, the voice of God speaks over the waters with the words, let there be light. In interpreting this passage, church fathers identified a hidden reference to the Trinity for being before creating light, the Spirit of God is described as moving over the face of the waters. Then God speaks, and there is light. God speaks as God the Father. God hovers over these waters as the Holy Spirit, and the word spoken is the Son, who is also the light of the world. Similarly, when Jesus is baptized, there is also a manifestation of the Trinity. The Holy Spirit is des described as above the waters, appearing in the form of a dove. This Father speaks by telling Jesus that, You are my beloved Son. And Jesus is the beloved Son as the Word of the Father and light to the world. John the Baptist recognized Jesus' uniqueness by saying, perhaps even with a touch of fear, I am not worthy to loosen the thongs of his sandals. Petrie explains that at the time of Jesus, people who untied the sandals from someone's feet were ordinarily slaves, whom the master might not even glance at in recognition. Here, John the Baptist is placing himself even lower than a slave with respect to Jesus. And he is right. After all, Jesus, we believe, is God, the Creator in human form. However, John the Baptist may not have been right if he said these words with fear, expecting Jesus to rule with a display of hard power. As the Gospel later reveals, Jesus did not act as ordinary human masters act. What did Jesus do on Holy Thursday? Much to the shock of his disciples, especially Peter, Jesus washed their feet and then taught, You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for so I am. If I then are your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example that you also should do as I have done to you. Today, through the words of Scripture, may Jesus, the one word of the Father, teach us how to lead by service, by humility, by meekness, and not by lording over others our authority, for this is done by pagans. It shall not be so among you, says Jesus, but whoever would be great among you must be your servant, and whoever would be first among you must be your slave. God bless.